Uh, well, uh, uh, I, I do enjoy a good black screen followed by a blue s- Oh! Oh! Oh my! Oh dear. What do we have here? Uh, oh, this- Oh, I recognize this particular logo. It is the, uh, the logo of Sierra. Sierra? Uh, oh. <laughs> I Damn. just, like, I've said it multiple times, but, like, especially the first episode of a series, it hurts me personally when the first episode of a series opens up with a really, really rough cold open. You know what? <laughs> we don't want any... It's how we roll. Uh, I've actually, I actually feel bad for the people who are disappointed, who are like, oh, oh, I'm into this guy. <laughs> and then we ch- <laughs> And then we change And then to Luke them. has to go and ruin it all. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Hey, I, I, everybody, it's your Saturday, and yeah. we're playing Space Quest 3. We are. Go, it, Matt. It has been an indeterminate amount of time since Roger Wickle rocketed away from Vohal's burning space fortress. Time stands still for our hero in suspended animation. Its engines long spent, the small escape pod drifts aimlessly through unfamiliar star fields, its course altered many times by small asteroids and space debris. Inside, Roger lies undisturbed in his sleep chamber. But not for long. Ooh. Ooh, the Pirates of Pestulon. I love this game. Oh. Probably one of the highlights of the Space Quest series. It's so good. Despite being very, like, plot light. Yeah. <laughs> It's so good. Yeah. It's, it's really well done. It, it was a trailblazer. It's plot amazing light, but fucking it's very music. eventful. Yes. Yeah, lots oh. of shit happens. And beautiful. There's just not a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, it's it's also pretty oh. as hell. Like they they knew their EGA shit by now. Look at that. Oh. And also this is your you two's first time uh, hearing the game soundtrack and audio all using the MT32. It's amazing. All of this it, is is just yeah. yeah. The pod considered to be nothing more than another piece of scrap is taken aboard a robot commanded garbage freighter. Unfortunately, these robots have no regard for organics. Everyone should buy organic though. It's pretty good. <laughs> Just saying. It's pretty good. It's good for the environment. Be, be, be cheaper if everybody bought it. <laughs> <laughs> the small pod is jarred by a sudden shock which triggers the sleep chamber's revive mode. As the glass shroud slides back, Roger slowly begins to regain consciousness. Hold on. Up, oh, up. Oh. Where <sighs> am I? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> this isn't Xenon. <laughs> Animation, everyone. Animation. Animation. We're up. We're in here. Oh. What the hell is this? Bunk. You notice that the sounds from the pod grow softer until they are imperceptible. Having served its purpose and taxed its resources, the pod gives a final hum and shuts down. And here we are. Here we are. Oh, this is great. The zero of 738. That is yep. a hell of a score. That's a lot of that's a lot of points that we got. Uh, <laughs> that that is is we are beholden to attempting to grab. All right. Well, I mean, let's get our bearings. Let's look around. You're standing in a debris cluttered junk bay. An escape pod rests in the middle of the room. There are chunks of metal lying around, which seem to be small sections of old spaceware. Spaceware. Yeah, yeah spaceware. spaceware. Okay. The eight prong plug protrudes only slightly from the motivator's exterior. Ha <laughs> ha! But you didn't even know there was a motivator there. Look, motivator. <laughs> the 
closer look at the object on the floor reveals that it is a warp motivator. It looks a bit more like a bit more high tech than the other junk strewn around this locale. Sturdily constructed, its only protrusion is a modular plug near its base. Nice. Let's get the motivator. Yeah, let's stuff it in our pocket. While relatively small, it seems to be quite dense. I think we're good looking at a potential hernia if any attempts are made to manually relocate it. Oh, no. Good to know, though. Good we're to in know. an adventure game and we can't lift something. I know. This is already a problem. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's uh, let's move around. Let's uh, get our bearings. Kind of uh, get comfortable around here. Oh yes, the Acme rocket and the Tie Fighter. Yes, let's move about. Various types of abandoned spacecraft litter the floor of this intergalactic junkyard. All this place needs is a junkyard dog. You shiver at the thought. Now, Matthew brings up an interesting point here. It was the Space Quest series that, in fact, tied together the Wily e. Coyote Roadrunner and Star Wars universes. Yeah, it was, that, <laughs> it was this one. And uh, I believe, what is the uh, Jupiter uh, from? The, the Jupiter 2 from uh, Lost in Space. Lost in Space, that's right. Yeah. I don't know what that dildo looking thing is. This ship says Jupiter 2. This baby must have been floating around out there for a long time. It doesn't hold your interest for very long. Nice. Funny thing about space Dildo. dildos, um, they're actually quite common, it's just they're not very <laughs> widely reported. It's true, and, that's, and they're, they're more widely known as probes, but everybody knows what they are. This ship is another fine but worthless Acme product. Nice. Look. When in doubt. Oh, no, this one didn't have right click to look. It's unfortunate. Um, ah, it's too bad. There you go. This, this bulbous craft looks like it's seen a lot of action in its day. You believe it to be a bow tie fighter dating back to the Cologne Wars. A bow true tie relic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow, this place is, uh, yeah, this brings back some memories. Like, when he goes into shadows, there's a shadow over him. Come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come no, on! They did some fantastic um, things with the very limited technology at the time. Ugh. With that. Ugh. Yeah. This place I mean, always reminded me of the uh, trash yard from Superman 3. I'm always expecting, like, an evil, <laughs> miscolored Superman to bust out of there. Oh, my God! <laughs> Somewhere there's an oversized android missing a limb. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Superman <laughs> three, so bad. All right, let's. Yeah. Uh... Part of our childhood. Look how sad you look. <laughs> 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 he wasn't ready for this at all. <laughs> this machine just grabbed a handful of my dick. <laughs> and the rest. <laughs> Uh, uh. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Problems. <laughs> you got that right, buddy. Oh, by the oh. way. <laughs> Not a pretty sight. Shredded like an Iran country document. Oh, shit. <laughs> Your many independent parts. Oh, well, that didn't stay long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, less than choice cut will go. Nice. You want to try and get the rest of that text? Uh, no, no, box? it's fine. Save your butt. Okay. Jump. Oh, no. You got to stand. 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 Jump. 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 Stand in jump. the place where you were, then jump up. Jump in and feel the touch. Problems. Where <laughs> You stepped off the rail, you're dead again. Wow, those death notices do not stay very they long. They do dude. not stick around for long. I wonder no. if I can slow down the uh, the message speed. Well, it's pretty useless reading them if they don't stick around long enough. 
Wouldn't be so bad except for the sudden stop at the end. That's Next right. Time. Deceleration so trauma is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, restore. Oh, right. The boss key. Oh, I get it. You don't want your bus to know you've been playing Space Quest 3. In fact, you don't want your bus to know that you've been playing Space Quest 3 for 0 hours, 6 minutes, and 27 seconds. That's a good idea, but I'm afraid that, being the good company men that we are, we can't help you cheat like that. Sorry. I do appreciate that they rift on their their own boss key. And the boss key actually used to work. It would, um, I think, just swap... It, w- it would have, like, a, uh, a fake C prompt. Like yeah. a DOS prompt. Yeah. Um, Which is a, a, a grand idea. Yeah. Oh, man. This is... This is... Oh. <laughs> I'm actually getting more of a nostalgia boner from this than from Space Quest 2 for some reason. I don't know why. (laughs) Nostalgia chubby. (laughs) Robot. 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 (laughs) Look at the robot. It's not a model you've seen before. The droid appears to be dedicated to this workstation. It seems harmless enough. Talk to robot. It apparently isn't designed to process input from you. Fine. Hmm. Let's just look. This room, in this room, the rail makes a U-turn. There's a machine here which hangs under the rail. There's a chute at the bottom. In the middle are panels monitoring devices being tended to by a droid. There you go. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's get in the machine. Climb down. Plopping into the seat, you grasp the forward-backward control of the grabber. Nice. All right. Look, grabber. Your view of the grabber from here reveals a forward-reverse control stick, currently grasped, and a button marked... Claw! (laughs) Claw! Claw! Claw. (laughs) The button is programmed not to work in this area. Yeah, okay. Next time, Gadget. Next <laughs> time. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Zot! You really bit the beam, Buckwheat, and that's a lack of regard of organics in action again. I guess they never heard of the warning shot concept around here. Anyway, you're dead. Okay, so this one stays. Yeah, no, I haven't... dum de dum So it's just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoy your new flow-through ventilation system. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Enough of this farting around. So you can't hang around in here too long. Yeah, the robot doesn't like that very much. But you know, that's fine. He's entitled to. That's understandable. That. Yeah. It's nice they built a laser on him, just in case. <laughs> just in case. Yeah, he needs to. He needs to zap a bitch. <laughs> Let's look down. Looking down makes you dizzy. Press claw. Oh, oh. We're actually, pretty close. It's pretty close. <clears throat> I would not have remembered where that was. Well, it was in the. <laughs> I remember the ship was in the back corner, right? Finding nothing here to carry, the club begins the ascent to the grabber unit. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, you can roughly equate it to one-to-one with the uh, floors down below. Yeah. Except, you know, the back rail is the upper level of them, and the lower rail is the uh, lower ones. So if I went down on the rail directly, you know, south of here or sort of closer to the screen, um, it would be like the Jupiter 2 screen. Yeah. Right, right. And the tie- and the bow tie fighter. The bow tie fighter. I, um, nice. 
I really like that we're about to put this in something that we haven't discovered yet. <laughs> <laughs> the class has contact with the warp motivator, grasps it firmly, and begins the ascent back to the grabber. I know, but you should. Yeah. It'll save save us a little bit of time. A little bit. Um, I thought about actually taking sort of the wrong route and exploring around a little bit, but um, we're going to see everything multiple times because this game hates you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. And yet we love it. Oh, yeah. Just the way it works. This uh, it, it, Space Quest is unrequited love. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, you remember when we almost died in there? <laughs> remember when we did die in there? And then we did. Yeah. 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 Do do boop ba do. You know, uh, yeah. But that thing hurts like a bitch. I used to work in a greenhouse and we had a machine that was very similar to that that would beat the um, uh, thorns off of roses. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I got I got my knuckles wrapped with that thing a few times, and it uh, wasn't too nice. No, press that button. I actually worked before Valentine's Day at a place that. Yeah, that I started at Valentine's Day. Yeah, um, busy time. How do you know where to put it? <laughs> Sensing an adequate surface, the claw releases its cargo and begins the ascent to the grabber unit. The object thuds into place within the cavity of the ship. Nice. <clears throat> I love so that typically ship. you would yeah typically you'd be running around looking for you know some way to or you know you you would kind of spend some time wandering around down below but we're pros we are pros we're so now we gotta wait, make our way back yes we not, get we're paid really to not, do we, this we don't so, though we really no. don't <laughs> <laughs> no we don't um we well, aren't even the, that kind of YouTube channel that like has a Patreon or anything like that. So no, well, we yeah. don't. You know, who would pay us? Yep. Who would give us money? I I wouldn't even give us money. <laughs> nope. And I'm one of us. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, but that is all the time that we have for our first uh, episode of Space Quest Three. So thank you very much. We're going to be getting back down to ground level pretty soon. Uh, but, uh, yeah, thanks for joining us, everybody. It's going to be a uh, hell of a journey. Yeah, we're Pretty just soon. beginning this journey. I hope you can join us. See you next time. Goodbye. Base Quest 3. Farewell. I need organic, okay? Because everyone wins. <laughs> <laughs>